I looked down at the table by her bed, and there was a post-it there, and on it were three words I'd never seen before, neuroleptic malignant syndrome with a question mark. So obviously during rounds, doctors and nurses had been discussing her condition. So I left it there, but I, <laughs> I did write it down because I thought, well, I'm going to talk to her psychiatrist about this later on. And I did. And he said, yes, that's what we think Valerie has, neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Neuroleptic malignant syndrome is a toxic and sometimes fatal reaction to all conventional and atypical neuroleptics. Since millions of patients take these drugs, thousands experience NMS with severe signs and symptoms. I do not take a pulse reading, and I noticed that her pulse was very rapid, and it was getting faster and faster as the hours going by, and I'm thinking something terrible is happening with the stiffness. So I said, we've got to get her to the hospital and see what they can do for her. So George backed the car out of the garage, and it was all I could do to get her down the stairs. She was as stiff as a board, every muscle completely rigid. To get her into the car took both of us. We put her in the front seat. I sat in the back seat. She screamed all the way to the hospital, screaming and crying in terror. She thought there was a war. The lights from the cars coming toward us were absolutely terrifying her. In two of the three cases presented, early signs and symptoms went untreated, leading to fatalities. The point of the family's doctor is that she had very definite abnormal vital signs and other symptoms that showed over the course of that morning that something was going on and that had the hospital staff recognized that there was this collection of symptoms which showed that there was something going on, she could have been treated and would have survived. I can only imagine the anguish, the pain, the frustration he must have felt being alone with nobody to help him. And the irony of it is that here he was in the hospital where he should have been safe, but he wasn't. This program emphasizes early detection and prompt treatment. With treatment, Valerie survived a severe case of NMS. So he wheeled me out in the wheelchair because I wasn't really steady yet to walk because of losing all the weight. So we went outside and there's a fountain in front of the hospital and I touched the water to my skin and it felt so refreshing and just to breathe the air, it was like being born again.